one thing that we maybe don't talk about nearly as much in these verses, verses 24, 25, 27. Kind of ones that surround the, the more, the more well-known ones. Yeah, we exactly. almost forget about the ones surrounding it. And these are ones where Nephi is wrestling with the relationship between the law of Moses and the coming Christ, which he's seen in vision. And it's easy for us today, looking back, to say, ah, Jesus Christ came and fulfilled the law. That's, this is kind of an old issue. This is something Nephi had to wrestle with. I don't. But it feels to me like Nephi is nailing down a problem every one of us is dealing with, which is what, how on earth do I think about the, the responsibility I have to keep commandments, right, and to do the things I've been asked to do, and then grace and atonement of Christ. Like, how do I hold those together? It can feel like if I start to take my own responsibilities too seriously, I can forget Christ. And if I take Christ too seriously, that's a weird way of putting it, but if I, almost if I throw myself too much on him, then I may start to neglect what I've been called to do. And Nephi wrestles with it beautifully here. What I love about his way of putting it, verse 27 especially, we speak concerning the law that our children may know the deadness of the law, and they, by knowing the deadness of the law, may look forward unto that life which is in Christ, and know for what end the law was given. And that seems to me to apply to any commandment that comes from God, whether it's the law of Moses way back then, or word of wisdom, whatever it is now that I've been asked to keep, it is not I who has to fulfill the commandment in full. It's Christ who does it. And that law has got to draw me to him. That's the end for which the law is given. Not so that I'm somehow enough, but so that it can draw me to him and he will fulfill the law in me. Mm -hmm.